Hello everyone and welcome back to the second updated tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to teach you how to make this text and how to animate it. <clears throat> First, um, go to window and make sure that all these things are enabled. Now you want to go to the text tool and click in your com and then type your text or something like that. And then you want to select the layer, click Ctrl, Alt and then Home. And that will center the anchor point. Then you want to go to Align. If you don't have that, go to Window and click on Align. Then you want to click on these two with the layer selected. You can double click on the text and hopefully this will pop up and then you can change the font with clicking on layer and then pressing S you can bring up the skill property and you can make it bigger or smaller. And then we have our first text layer. You can make the background black if you want. Then you right click on the layer, click on pre-compose and then do text dash one. Uh, make sure you have this enabled. Now we are going to add some effects on the text. Um, for instance, a inner shadow. You get it by right clicking on the pre com layer, I mean. Go to layer styles and then inner shadow. Then you see a little inner shadow here. And we can change the settings of that by clicking on the, this triangle. I'm happy with my settings, so then we are going to right click again, pre-compose, text dash 2, and then move all attributes into the new composition. Okay, you can add some more effects if you want, like inner glow, just mess around with the settings, search up on Google how it works. But I am now going to right click again layer styles and add a stroke and then you have this this is already a pretty nice text but we are going to make it even better pre-compose it and then i want to pre-compose it again you can double click on the, the pre-compositions to open them so here we have the drop shadow here we have the stroke and the one after the stroke, you want to apply the effect echo space. And go to setup, make it like 20. Oh yeah, first click repeat. Go to repeater, click on Y offset and make it four or two or three. Make this like minus one. Okay, now we have this and we want to make an adjustment layer. Move it down. And then type hue saturation and then you can make the lightness less and now we go to our main comp and then we have this this is already a pretty nice text in my opinion but now we're going to add the warp effect and select shell lower something like minus 20 the vertical distortion something like 20 then we are going to pre-comp it. Then we are going to add the drop shadow effect. So you get a little shadow. But we are going to change some settings. And you can duplicate this with Ctrl D. And then you want to take this number and do plus 180. And then we are done. Um, if you want to add some more effects, feel free to do that. You can pre-comp it to just text. So now we're going to go to text one for the textify. If you don't have textify, you can skip to the timestamp on the screen. Click on this plus thing to add the textify effect. Then go to here and here you can add all the effects you want. So I'm going to add Scale, Position, 
and Z rotation. You can change the bounce to something like 2, skill in, you can make it to 0. So now we already have this. Okay. And if you want to add some rotation, you can change those parameters. If you want to add some position, you can change that. Just mess around with the settings. Okay, now that we are done with our textify effect, you can go back to the main comp. And here you have the text with all the effects on it. Now I'm going to add a label. What if we want to add an effect, for instance, a rotation? Um, you do that by clicking on the text layer, press R for the rotation, click on the stopwatch and go further in time and make this 360. Select these two keyframes and press F9 and click on this graph editor. And then we get this graph. I use value graph. Okay, so now we can change these things. Now it's a lot smoother already. Okay, so that was my updated text tutorial. Thanks for watching. Stay safe and bye.